Welcome back to the Good Shot, Good Talk, the show where we discuss what's hot, what's crot, and everything in between in the wide world of Warhammer. We are here on uh, the second, third day of 10 days of 10th edition. Just played uh, two of the brand new armies, the Space Wolves, the Death Watch, uh, and that's what we're here to discuss today. This is the matter at hand, Bridger. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take questions. We have some from the games today, which are going to be relevant to these factions. So if you are tuning in because you're interested in them, then you are in the right spot. Uh, and of course, if we have any questions, we can go ahead and pull up the data sheets as well. We've got Mel on the mic tonight. How's it going, Mel? It's going well. I've got my little ears on in sport of the awoo. It's true. I know you guys can't see because she's off camera, but she actually is she's also in costume. That's true. <laughs> Literally, Adrian came in costume. Me and Bridger were like, wait. But I want Wait, a hat. We want immediately. Hats. We immediately <laughs> went and got our own hat. And I just grabbed a hat. Because you're captain of the Titan Watch. Ca oh. That was good. I'm yeah. the watch That's captain. The you are the watch oh, captain. Wow. I am the watch captain now. Captain uh -huh. my captain. Uh. So jumping into some super chats then, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Dive let's right in. Let's do it. Thank you, fat and fit dad. Hey, hey. Love the challenge us Vikings will now face. Yes, We will continue go. to bring the fight. Yeah. That being said, how many characters slash leaders can be attached to our units? Can <sighs> characters be brought alone to go to hunt? Oh, I would not recommend. Be careful with that. I'll be honest. Okay, so of the many complaints we have with the Space Wolves, this is, again, my biggest one, and I really, like, if I was to go so far as say I wanted something changed, like mm -hmm. with relative immediacy, it would be all these characters giving up all these assassination points. Because these are basically two, these are sergeants. These are like two in character. Yeah. The Cyberwolf is a character yeah. worth two. Oh my gosh. And that's worth, what, four points if you take assassination inbuilt? So I think this needs to be fixed. Um, in the meantime, however, I think you really need to minimize your characters and you can't really have these lone ones running mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. um, so I think. You're going to look at, is there a specific buff that you need? So the pack leader, which I thought I could attach to the Thunder, to the uh, Terminators, it actually goes on Blood Claws, and it gives them advance and charge, <sighs> which is spicy. I know, I'm not crazy about Blood Claws. But um, you need to really decide in your heart of hearts, like, where are you going to need these characters? Uh, where are they going to unlock your sagas and stuff like that? And, and you have to tread carefully, honestly, which is kind of a bummer, because that's one of the reasons to play Space Wolves. Um, but I will say, you can take probably more than... You might think. You just don't want to make it an automatic chunk of points for the other person. Right. Um, you don't want to tempt them into taking it as a fixed. Yeah. As a fixed secondary. Because yeah. if they have the opportunity to take it as a fixed, that's a big problem. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. like, yeah. when exactly. they're taking it as a fixed, whenever somebody goes to fixed secondaries, either they have a solitaire strategy of like, well, I'm just going to do behind enemy lines and cleanse or something. Yeah. Which you have no control over. Mm -hmm. Or... You don't goof when you build your list yeah. because they're right. taking advantage of your poor list building mm -hmm. to just get free points. Yeah. So you don't want to give them assassinate as fixed, but you also don't want them to draw assassinate and be like, cool, it's a free card. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll just go kill this guy who's yeah. just in this squad over here who has yeah. to play the game. Exactly. Yeah. It's tough. So it's going to be something we have to figure out um, with Space Wolves. Thanks, Fat and Fit Dad. And good attitude. Yeah, this is the attitude to take. Love it. Thank you. Falls in 94. Hey, hey. Sad you all aren't previewing Templars. I need to see what you all think of new Templars. Keep being great. Yeah. So we can only choose four factions for today. It's true. I will say, yeah, I'm going to say it. We're playing Templars tomorrow. Because they're, well, you can say because they're out. We can, say, we can that. say that. We're not going to say who they're fighting against. Templars are going to be tomorrow in the evening slot. Mm -hmm. So about 20 hours from now. Um, it's gonna be great. We are really excited about Templars. Um, they have really cool characters. Um, I love the Crusader squads. Like, take 220 blocks of Crusaders, mm -hmm. put Grimaldus in one, put some uh, a, a character with the relic that gives a five up feeling pain if you're taking that vow. You got two blocks of five up feeling pain, Crusaders. That's it's cool good. stuff. That's strong. I think they're one of the stronger Space Marines, actually. How dare you. No, I don't think the strongest. That's my thing. <laughs> I didn't say the strongest. That's my, I, say, I say I think they're one of the strongest. I No, no. You, you said, say the strongest. No, well, I've I said one of the strongest every time. They are the strongest. Not, I think they may be one of the strongest. There's a lot of qualifiers. In no, there. I think... Well, I don't know about Templars. I haven't read that. <laughs> but I think Death Watch are one of the strongest Space Marines. That I can... That's what I said agree. literally every time. Yeah. Pull back the tape. Check the tape. That's what I said every single time. I said one of the strongest. Every time. You Ugh. know they can, in fact, roll back the tape. Yeah, and they will. analysis will, will be cut and sent to us. And they will. Everyone PM uh, or DM. Shane Rookie. <laughs> Shane. <laughs> the timestamp. 
Thanks, Balzan. Uh, tune in tomorrow. Thank you, Adrian Smart. Hey, Titans. Likelihood of Hellbrack's wound characteristics being a typo. Five wounds when even Seth has six. Or Repulsor Laz Talon being D6 versus D6 plus one. And do you think oh. they'll fix the BT character keyword? Why would the rep The Repulsor thing seems like a typo. The Repulsor Laz Talon is... I normally, Laz Talons get the plus one? Yeah. Okay. That does feel like a typo. That seems like a typo. Uh, Grimaldus... Uh, not necessarily. Like, he is a chap chaplain versus Gabriel Seth is chapter master, right? Well, he's talking about Helbricht, who's huge. Oh, Helbricht has five wounds. That oh, seems like a typo. That but, doesn't feel right. But it's impossible to say. Like, Yeah, that's true. Because he has nine wounds in ninth edition. Uh, he's huge. He had eight wounds. But eight. still a lot. That's a lot. So five does seem wrong. Five seems quite low. Because, like, yeah. a Primaris Captain has five wins. He doesn't like his attendants aren't... No, because they're on the body of the base. But a Chaplain has four wins? So maybe he's one more than a Chaplain because he's a Chaplain? No, Helbrick does not. Like you said, that's that's the big daddy. That's the Chapter Master. Yeah, he's huge. He's not a Chaplain. Oh, he's not a Chaplain. He's a Chapter Master. I, I, when, when I thought they were talking about Grimaldus, that would make some sense to me. But Helbrick seems... Yeah, he shouldn't have the same as a Captain. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Um, do you think Black Templar character keywords? Um, what's the issue with them? Let us know if you're oh, here. Oh, I this one I do know. What's that? Um, their chapter master doesn't have the chapter master keyword. Oh, and their captains don't have the captain keyword. <laughs> oh, right. So you can't put other things in their squad or something. Like the marshals don't have it. Right. Gotcha. Um, so you, you can't put like lieutenants like in their squad. Yeah. Which is seems like a typo or like an oversight. Yeah. Something like a typo. I'm surprised. Actually, of all these things, I actually agree on all of them. They all seem wrong. Yeah. yeah. A lot of the time it's like, oh, surely this must not. Like the Wolfen thing. It's like, surely it must be like higher damage. And it's like, I don't think so. No. Um, but this one, 100%. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, Adrian. So much. Thank you. Oh. A Trey Dudley just sending some love and support. Thanks, I Thank you so think. Much. Wait, where was there a question? Did I? Thanks, Trey. In it. Just double checking. Oh. Just double check. Oh, I missed it. Oh. Nope, there's a oh, question. No. Oh, no. Well, that's in. it, Trey. Sorry. No, oh, we'll there's come a, back. There's a button that moves it to the left. I, I know. I know. I was going to... Dude, gonna... I... Look, for once... We can put the card back in the deck? Yeah, right? Oh. There you go. Don't see a fight phase rule saying you have to resolve all similar squad weapons together. Can this be used to interrupt with characters to get kills? No. no. When a unit activates, you can't stop them from activating. No, I think... Oh, can you slide into their DMs with a character to get a yeah, kill with the character? Within your own. Probably, uh, but it's annoying, and your opponent will hate you. It would have been kind of nice today. There was a couple moments, right, where you're just like, you want to get the kill with a character against another character. Y yes. I know why you want to, yeah. but if you go through your squad and you're like, all right, here's one guy. I would try not to do one guy at a time. And here's one guy. Yeah. Be, your opponent will weird. just hate you. But we win. I'm joking. <laughs> I, I mean, you probably can do it. They didn't formalize fast dice in this, did they? I don't remember seeing a page that formalizes they, fast no, dice. I think they did a little bit. Well, I don't know if they formalized it. I think they said, there's like a side note, be like, this is fast this dice. This is fast dice? By the way, fast dice is a thing. <laughs> this would matter for sagas, wouldn't it? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Or, or like my enhancement, the character to kill a unit, or a model. Right. Like, yeah, there yeah, are right. times where this is relevant. Certainly. Yeah. But like... Be, be ethical. Just don't waste people's time. Rewind. Yeah. Well, thanks, thanks so Trey. much, Trey. Thank you, Hamsterdam. Hey, Titans. A little confused about some of the army building intent. <laughs> How many non-named characters can you take? Do you have to attach characters to a squad? Is there a troop max? All right. Thanks. Thank you, as always. Number one. How many non-named characters can you take? Infinite. Well, up to three of each. Infinite. <laughs> you can take... Three Correct. Primaris Captains, yes. you could take three Captains, uh, you could take yeah. three Captains in with the Jump Pack, you could take three Apothecaries, you could take three Primaris Apothecaries, mm -hmm. take three Gravis Apothecaries. So how about this? All There's a cap of three of any type, yeah. except for Battle Line, which have a cap of six per type. And Epic Heroes have a cap of one. Per type. Per type. And this does not mean you only get one epic hero. This no. means they're unique, basically. Mm -hmm. You can only take one Gilliman, not three Gilliman. Not three Gilliman. That's all it means. It doesn't mean yeah. you can't take Gilliman and Calgar or whatever. Yeah. Uh, number two, do you have to attach characters to a squad? No. This is really good. It's uh, very not bad. 
Yeah. It is often very bad to attach characters to a squad. Or to not, to leave a leader without lone yeah. operative on their own. Yep. They offer basically no benefits because they don't have auras. They just have like, right. my unit does blank. Uh, they'll just get shot. Those are the two big ones. Yeah. It would be very rare to find a character that has one or both. They're not exclusive, but it, you know, I'm not really seeing it. Yeah. Number three, is there a troops tax? No. no. You don't have to take any quote unquote troops. No, there's no there's no four sword slots anymore. That's all gone. All there there's there's nothing. I'll just say that. The only concept uh, that of troops that exist is is battle line, which lets you take more of. You can take six of the same. Um, and occasionally there'll be abilities that care about battle line or whatever, but not really. And often battle line are OC2. Yeah. Generally. Yeah. It's not a rule. It's not hard and fast. There are battle line that are not OC2. There's things that aren't battle line that are OC2. But in general, battle line have higher OC. Totally. Great, great questions. Thank you so much, Amsterdam. Thank you, Guyver007. What is this madness? <laughs> Why is Mel not running her a question, Mel. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you've noticed, but there are only two producers. That's true. <laughs> um, well, and, and me. <laughs> three producers. Which only, only in dire occasions, which, which is about to happen. <laughs> yep. <laughs> which is... So, um, but also, in truth, they're not... <gasps> they're, uh, if you didn't hear her, she was done. a little quiet. They're not done. She hasn't finished her space walls. I haven't. But um, you've been actually working furiously. Um, I, they're far closer to done than I think any of us expected them to be. Yes, yes. Um, they're, they're moving quickly. You've been working actually like, we go, well yesterday we went home and uh, you worked on them all the way until, until you went to sleep. Which is like wow. not my style. Yeah. I usually like, like to pre-bed before bed. Exactly. Um, so was, it was wild. Is that like when a dog walks in a circle? <laughs> yeah. <Kind of. laughs> That's exactly what she it's does. It's literally. Yeah. We have a little floor bed in the living room where I start my food. <laughs> it's literally oh my a dog God, bed. It is that. It's a dog bed. Uh, <laughs> too, too much learning about myself. <laughs> oh, thank you, Guyver. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Cellophane. Grab a Poth plus Bolter Disc equals exploding and auto-wounding Eradicator Meltas on sixes, which triggers on fives in the right doctrine with full rerolls. Seems really solid. Yeah, I like this a lot, actually. I've been thinking about it, because we've been discussing how much we don't like the Grab a Spoth carry. Because mm -hmm. like, lethal wounds and the things that he wants to join are kind of awkward, but this, this is interesting. Because interesting, yeah. ultimately, like, Eradicator's they get rerolls to hit wound and damage against their targets, but they're still on fives a lot of the time. Yep. So helping like uh, just a bit more like, with this, I think is going to be actually pretty great. I might be interested in him on uh, bolt aggressors too. I know you guys hate bolt aggressors, but sounds just as good on flame aggressors. Maybe they don't roll the hit. What do you mean? Oh, it's lethal hits. <laughs> they don't roll the hit. I think with sounds like they're still better. With oaths, I think bolt aggressors are interesting mm -hmm. for. A number of reasons. Okay. They get more shots still, right? Yes. That was always the trade off. Is flame aggressors auto hit, but bolt yeah. aggressors get more shots? Yes. Which is why with Gilliman you ran bolt aggressors, because with the rerolls you would Correct. end up with more hits when you're bolt. Mm -hmm. I think this is still true. Now, however, Overwatch is very prevalent, and so flamer auto hitting in Overwatch. Yeah. Big factor. Mm -hmm. But I think you stick in that grab as a public carry. You say this unit is going to shoot at the thing that has. Uh, oath of Moment, or if you have mm -hmm. Gilman, double Oath of Moment, like the, one of the two. Yeah. You get your rerolls, you get your lethal hits. Yeah. This could be an answer to some tougher things that don't have a great armor save, which there are kind of a lot of in the game. Yeah, that's like fair. medium sized vehicles, yeah. they can get through. Right. And you do this with eradicators to get through uh, anything. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> good combo. Great, great question. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Cellophane. Thank you, Haven Games. Brian mentioned earlier that Divergent Chapters have to take their detachment and can't take the Gladius Task Force. Right. But Gladius only stipulates that the faction be Adeptus Astartes. Please clarify. Yeah, I, I, I believe that you actually can do a Gladius detachment the way that it's written. It is not clear at first. Once you start diving into it, it looks like it actually is possible. Um, you just, it's the normal rule, right? Once you take something with a chapter on it, then you have to stick to that chapter. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing Space Wolves, um, or you could even do Death Watch, you know, um, then you have to stick with it. Um, but it seems to work, which is kind of interesting because it means that, you know, as of, as of now, of what's revealed, 
They Space Marines have two detachments. Everyone else gets well, one. they have like a bunch of detachments. Well, like, yeah, I guess. They have like five, six? Yeah. Like six detachments? It's just one big melting pot. It's just one big melting pot. <laughs> I, I am against this yeah. from like a lore, like a flavor perspective. Mm. I think you should double down. We talked about this a little bit during the game. I think you should like yeah. commit to playing your faction and don't back down. Use your faction rules. Like, this doesn't appear to be clearly disallowed. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel right. Mm. It feels a little weird. Mm. Like, but you know what? Like, who's to say which half of their heritage is the more important, Bridger? Are you the one that's gonna tell them that? Like, they're still a space marine. No, I like. Oh, you sorry. You're a space wolf, so you don't get to be a space marine. Like, that's no. They're not. They want to be compliant. brothers too. They don't. They don't read the they, they could, book. But they could change. <laughs> we turned a new leaf. <laughs> We're actually Gilliman Space Wolves now. We, we read his book. We toned down the wolf stuff. It was getting a little weird, I admit. <laughs> the Ultramarines came knocking at our door and they asked if we'd heard of their Lord and Savior, Gilliman. And we were like, no, please tell. Do you have a book I can read? <laughs> it's like the Omnissiah, where it's like, it's like, oh, Omnissiah, you mean the Emperor, right? And they're like, yeah. Yeah, the Emperor. Yeah. The Allfather, that's the that's Emperor, right? <laughs> it's all covered in this book. Please read our book. <laughs> it's like, how do we fit our wolves into the, <laughs> to the transport? Exactly. You know, it's, it's I love how there's a whole like paragraph mm. in, in Death Watch on like, if it's not supposed to fit in a transport, but it goes in a unit that does, that's it's like, just, just ram it in there. It's like their army just, rule, basically, it's right? Like, just it's put like, in, their army rule is actually just, just put in work. the transport. Yeah. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Haven Games. Thank you so much, Frank uh, Snide. Looking forward to Sisters. What do you all think of the Triumph being good again? The Triumph looks pretty spicy. Um, it is, however, one of those units that really, it's a buffing unit, right? Mm -hmm. So it's the, the, the distance it goes depends on the strength of the other units and the way they synergize. Mm -hmm. So I'm really excited to get to the meat, meat of it and kind of play with what's the full picture look like, what are, what, are, what are the combos that we have, because the data sheet that we've seen for it looks pretty exciting. It's my favorite Sisters model by far. It's cool. It's like the one that's actually fully painted, um, and uh, it's awesome. I will say, it is not going, it's going to be unwieldy, right? It's a large model. Mm -hmm. Did, does it have the infantry keyword? Yeah. Oh, okay. Always has. I take it back. It's not unwieldy. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about like having to move it around stuff. Right, now. And try to stay in position to get all your buffs, but... If it just goes through walls, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, they're just like up, 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 up. Just a, you know? a funeral procession, just yeah. diving through windows and <laughs> kicking down walls and <laughs> blasting through the door. Like you do what you gotta do, you know? <laughs> you gotta yeah. get the skeleton over there. <laughs> whoa, whoa, skeletons. A... Are they carrying oh like a corpse gosh. in a coffin? Isn't whoa, that... whoa, <laughs> whoa, that's, that's a what saint. It is? <laughs> that's a holy relic. <laughs> yeah, okay. a corpse in a coffin. Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> God, never letting you in. Look, I went to Vatican. Italy. I looked at a lot of. Hey, you got a corpse in there. A lot of corpses in coffins that were holy relics. Okay, it doesn't make them not corpses in coffins. <laughs> no, no, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Well, isn't it honestly just usually like a piece of the corpse too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like the finger got, of the saint. Yeah. They got like looted a hundred times. Yeah. yeah. Plus, you gotta like spread it around. You know, they like, did spread it a around. A shard of a of a of a relic is you know saint. Which, just good. It's a full saint. To me, I don't know. Like I don't like. You don't think it's the same? I think it's sacrilege to be cutting. That's like, <laughs> just like it's like a magician with a saw in the coffin. Yeah, they yeah. He saws it in half, and now you have two holy relics. You're like, checks out. Is that really how that should work? It's it's. <laughs> nope, I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> Thanks, Prince uh, Frank. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, Dongle Goblin for our four. Kenny Rogers called. He says you're in the danger zone. The danger, danger zone. zone. <laughs> Oh man! Adorable. Thanks, Tom Goblin. There were some dangerous moments for both of us there. I got too close with my thunder cab, and then you got too close with the people that killed the thunder cab. <laughs> yeah, lesson learned. It's a <sighs> shooting unit. Man, they just shoot. Thank you yeah. so much. Uh, thank you, Raza. What did they do to my wolves? OC zero and no bite wolfen seem like they have little to no value. Save us, Brian, if you're here. <laughs> Time to buy more Thunderwolf calves. Yeah, Thunderwolf yes. calves uh, uh, stonks are way up, I think. Well, they're, 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 not, they're not down. So here's the thing. Hear me out. Hear me out. There's a saga that gives your whole army plus an OC, which mm -hmm. is pretty awesome. Oh, and that works on... Uh... On uh, uh, Wolfen. But here's, here's the other thing that does. 
I guess I should just keep it to Wolfen, but I'm interested no, in No, but like the wolves. It would, your zero OC wolves would have OC1. It gives your OC, your, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry. It gives your wolves, not Wolfen. It gives yeah. your, your wolves OC1. Mm -hmm. It means if you get Bow Shocked, you still have OC1. Because you go down to zero and then you get plus one. No wrong. That's pretty spicy right no there. Wrong. So, Raza, yeah, there are definitely some hard pills to swallow, but, you know, we're going to, we're going to, See what we can dig out of it. That's the saga that was most interesting to me. Was the one that gives you plus one OC. It is also the hardest one to do, arguably. Yes. Um, I like, got... When you're playing an opponent with more than five units? I, sh I <laughs> Even then, I would have had the back objective. It would have been even more locked in. But I got so fixated on the, like... The, the, the strat to advance and charge or fall back and charge is so amazing. And I had several near misses. So that when I had the opportunity to just take it, I took it. Whereas realistically, I should have just taken the plus OC one, the OC OC plus one in the back, because that was it happened the same turn. Um, so right. you're gonna have to constantly adapt. I had so many times it was like, oh, do I kill a character? Nope. All right, next turn. And because you can only you know finish it one make a turn. Doesn't any sense that you only finish one a turn? Why? It's like, what were they afraid of? And it's one one per round, by the way. It's end of round. Why, what were they afraid of? Like they they thought, oh, these space wolves, they're gonna kill a character, steal your back objective. <laughs> Uh, destroy a vehicle all in the same turn and uh, unlock all these benefits. That's too good. It's, you know, they jump through every impossible hoop at once. That'd be too much. Look at this legendary feat. We should right. punish them. Yeah. So I don't silly. get it. So silly. Thanks so much, Raza. Thank you, Hamster Dim. Oh. Hey, Titans. How do you like the Predators? Good. How do you think they compare to Gladiators? I feel like Gladiator, Reaper, and Lancer are better, but I imagine the points will make a big impact. Mm. <sighs> they all do different things. Yeah. Yeah. They do different things. Points will obviously matter. Um, but I love what they've done with giving different units different roles, you know? So, like, we saw the anti-infantry one gets plus one AP against infantry. and. And that one easily could have been the worst one because it's like two heavy bolts are a spawn. So I'm like, what are you going to do with that? But the AP was so awesome. I love it. And they have different roles. It makes it a, like a marine eviscerator. It takes terminators yeah. to their in mm -hmm. with three damage. Yeah. Takes regular space marines to a five up with two damage. Mm -hmm. It's actually so efficient. Yeah. It's, it's a monster. Yeah. And, and like... They they just all do different things. I uh, the regardless of points, they are all efficient at killing yeah. different targets in mm -hmm. different ways, and I think that's a plus. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Amsterdam. Thanks, Amsterdam. Thanks, Matt McPeak. Proteus kill team great, but not sold on Primaris kill teams. Rules from the squads they split from seem better. Is stacking character buffs on big squads worth giving up? Objective secured and shoot on depth or minus one AP on object. What is objective secure? I guess they're saying like uh, hold it and walk off. Intercessors have hold it and walk off. Oh, right. And shoot yes. on death is for uh, hell blasters. <laughs> oh, hell blasters, right. And right. minus one AP on objectives is heavy intercessors. Okay. Yeah, so you have to. You. <clears throat> It's different combos. I agree. Like, they lose one rule to gain another rule. Yeah. And the direct comparison of, like, losing that list versus gaining plus one to hit conditionally. Mm -hmm. Sure. The plus one to hit conditionally is not as good. Yeah. But the characters that you can put in these squads is now different. Mm -hmm. Because that's how kill teams work. So, yeah. like, you couldn't have an apothecary with a, an outrider to bring back into a, an intercessor or a hellblaster squad yeah. ever. So that's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, the mix, the mixing goes a long way. And I, Hellblasters are the one where, like, I think probably you should just take Hellblasters with an Apothecary. Yeah. But, I don't love the Intercessors by themselves. Yeah. I, don't, I think Intercessors plus other th things is better. So with Intercessors, you can take Outriders and Hellblasters and there's one other thing, right? No, I think that's it. Really? Yeah. There's no other Primaris, regular, non-Phobos, non-Gravis bodies. The Phobos one is actually really interesting to me, although you lose the Infiltrator, no Deep Strike zone? Or is oh. that a gear? That might be a piece of gear that you get anyway. It, it is a piece of gear, I just don't know if you can then, yeah, get it back. Get, you still get it. Okay. Um, so you keep that, and then you can put Eliminators in the squad. Yeah. And you can put 
uh, in cursors in the squad. That's a pretty cool combo. <laughs> Yeah. If it's actually a piece of gear, that actually means you can increase the bubble so much more mm -hmm. because you can space them out throughout the squad. Um, yeah, I think they have different roles. You know, like I don't. Yeah, I don't think you're ever gonna take the base like kill teams where it's just like here's five uh, heavy intercessors, but they're the kill team version because the benefit is when you add more people to the squad. So, but let's say you do need a back objective holder, or in your case, you you had some points for just eliminators. Mm -hmm. um, so you're paying a, you're paying a, a Premium. I don't, don't even want to say attacks. Like you're gonna take the heavy intercessor bodies, and then get the eradicators with the benefit of they're gonna be much tankier because you have all these other bodies. So mm -hmm. it's different roles. Big squads with big, big buffs. Sometimes you are gonna want to have smaller squads because of just army composition or points or whatever. Like that's that's gonna be a thing. So I think if they kept the same abilities, then you then you run the, the danger of there's only one way to run it. And you should never run the base units or yeah. only run the yeah. you know vice versa. So. I think it's okay. Losing combat squatting changes how you look at kill teams. Yes. Because you used to do this thing where you amalgamate all the rules and then you split them up and keep all the amalgamated rules, mm -hmm. which they clearly didn't want, so they got rid of it. Yeah. Um, but it definitely changes the context, your buffs. You have to think about the new strats. Like, oh, okay, I can get anti-infantry two up on any of these. <sighs> also, remember, all your strats work on two kill teams or one non-kill team infantry unit. Oh, right. So there's a lot of efficiency on the strats. Big incentive there. Um, and you'll have to think about, once you see <laughs> the prices of things, how that impacts your decision making. Um, these aren't really apples to apples comparisons. It's, it's the same weapon in a different unit. It's like apples to bananas, and one of them is also subsidized by CP and the government. So it's like apples to corn? Apples to, yeah, corn, or like... Is corn subsidized? Oh, corn is yes. subsidized more really? than anything other than oil. Wheat. Corn and oil are like the two big subsidies. So American. I mean, huh? welcome to America. Also, um, the the number of <laughs> models you can put of each type in a kill team is strange. Um, so you can get four Terminators. Yes. But you only get two of pretty much everything else. To be honest, that's the biggest downside yep. um, versus taking the normal squad. Yep. So There you go. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Good question. Thanks, Connor. Scared that as the addition progresses, everyone will spam the optimal combos. Yeah. Don't like the idea of three three termi squads each with captains. Hope they change it to max of each character. Iron within. No. Well, I think they've already done that, right? I don't think you want three captains because yeah. you're like your CP refunds, it's once per captain on the battlefield. So they've already disincentivized that. You're getting diminishing returns from the captains. Um, especially at least captains of a certain type, you know, like I really like the Phobos captain because he lets you redeploy three units um, And I'm not really using the CP refund on whatever squad he's mm -hmm. using it on but I might want one in my Terminator squad Right. So but I definitely understand like the fear of things become optimized and this was something that I um, I guess it still concerns me a little bit in the sense that like everything seems so vast and insurmountable right now Hopefully we don't converge on a single answer for each of these factions But isn't that like, that's every edition. Like, yeah. well, it's just people, competitive games. Yeah, people yeah. are going to optimize, find a play group that doesn't play to that play style and yeah. right. hang out that's with That's true. You choose how you play your games. Every game that can be played competitively has a community that tries to fi find the optimal configuration of mm -hmm. whatever your decisions are. Yeah. You don't have to play that way. You don't have to play with those people. This is a huge decision space, and I think they did a pretty good job of keeping most things roughly equivalent within mm -hmm. a book. Um, so I think the optimal comp the optimal combos aren't that much more efficient mm. than the like less optimal combos the the like niche picks the oh here's my cool thing that I do and nobody else does still pretty good yeah thanks Connor thanks yeah. so much Connor have fun thank you cyanide Adrian blink three times if Tao is on the schedule close your eyes just close your eyes oh god it's so dry just close your eyes thanks cyanide next question. Quack. I believe in you, it gets worse. Thank uh. you, Andrew Middlemoss. If possible, can you save the points in 10? Feel good, seem reasonable. Not asking for actual points of things, just general thoughts on points. <laughs> Unfortunately, Andrew, we it's cannot give it anything if we want to uh, mm -hmm. keep bringing you content uh, on the day that you're able to see it. <laughs> as soon as we can talk about points, we will. Yes. We, we obviously have opinions, um, but we can't, we can't now. Unknown opinions. We have unknown opinions. We, ha well, we can say we have opinions. Nope, I wouldn't even say that. Oh, okay. We don't know. We, we think nothing. We think nothing. Well, that's, we I don't want to say that either. 
<laughs> Thanks, Andrew, though. For Appreciate the support. Second. No Just... worries. Ooh, we're getting them as they come in. Yeah, we are. No. Is this live? This is live. <laughs> what? Is that, is that what that is? Thank you. This... Matthew. Oh. Bridger, what's on your upper lip? <laughs> Is it happening? Are we bringing it back? No. Oh, this we should. It's been a really busy week. <laughs> Does it not grow anywhere else? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what answer to that question you're expecting. <laughs> um, I guess there's some down here. Because everyone has like the pattern, right? Oh, no, I can I feel it. It feels awful down here. Yeah, yeah it does not feel good. Yeah. No, it feels very oh, bad. Well, while you do that, I'll, I'll throw in the, the next yeah. one. Yeah, yeah I hate it. it. It's awful. Yeah. I agree. We, Bridger took a, a week off work of his real job. I did. To, to be do here for this. Like 14 hours. Yeah. <laughs> so. To be in this room for 14 hours a day. I'm enjoying it. Thank Good you, time. Amsterdam. Hey, Adrian. Taskmaster has taught me if you don't want to blink, just keep your eyes closed. That's what I said. That's true. I just said, I I said just the, close your eyes. I did the opposite of what we're supposed to do, apparently. Which... And Taskmaster, he's a smart guy. What's Taskmaster? He's a Hydra super soldier. <laughs> that he, he's also a mutant, and his mutant ability is that he can copy everybody else's fighting styles. Oh! So he like copy Captain America's like shield fighting style, and he capt copied um, who's Budget Zoro? Oh, um, Budget Zoro's sword um, fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, but he needs in the, both those cases he needs the item as well. Well, but he just needs a shield and a sword. Gotcha. And also, he's supported by Hydra, so like... They, they got the budget for it. He, yeah, yeah, he gets whatever he wants. That's fair. Oh. He copies like everybody's fighting style. He copies Black Widow. She, he's in the Black Widow movie. Yeah. And they made oh. uh, Taskmaster a woman in that movie, and everybody freaked out. And I was like, why? It's a person in a mask. Why do you care? <laughs> like, what is it? What is it? That's why amazing. are people upset about this? I'm outraged. There's so many other things in the world to be upset about. <laughs> it's a Marvel movie. It's superheroes. Just let yeah. him be a cool superhero. Just be upset, just period, about it. Don't get it. Well, that's all we have for the night, my friends. Oh, boom. We did it. We did it. It's been a lovely day, lovely evening. And guess what? This ship is going to keep on rolling. Tomorrow, join us for two more games about a new faction that's going to be revealed in the morning. It's going to be awesome. Um, I will say this. We're going to have a game at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard. This is going to be played by John and myself Ooh. in the evening. It's going to be you and Brajar. No, me and Brian. <laughs> and Brian. <laughs> I'm not playing myself. But they wouldn't let me. I was like, wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> Trying to avoid that. Right, right, right. It's going to be a ton of fun, so join us for that. Thank you all so much for joining us. We'll catch you next time on the Tabletop. Bye. Bye.